Hi, I'm Sanjana Srinath. I'm a third year medical student at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center in El Paso. And I'm working with Dr. Mole from the Department of Mathematical Sciences at UTEP for this project. And our poster is titled Exploring Differences in Tumor Mutation Burden in Acute Lymphoid Leukemia. So for a little bit of background, acute lymphoid leukemia, or ALL, is a malignancy caused by uncontrolled proliferation of immature B or T lymphocyte precursors. And there have been several epidemiological studies that have found increased ALL mortality in Hispanic Americans. Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States and the first leading cause among Hispanic Americans. Not only are they diagnosed at a younger age, but they also have worse outcomes compared to their non-Hispanic counterparts. Especially here at the border, several studies have found a higher incidence in acute myeloid leukemia, as well as acute lymphocytic leukemia, as well as worse prognosis. So the purpose of this study is to explore differences in tumor mutation burden in acute lymphoblastic leukemia in Hispanic and non-Hispanic patient subsets. In order to do this, we obtain clinical and demographic data for each patient by making API calls to the Genomics Data Common, or the GDC endpoint, by passing in fields of interest while applying filters specific to the target ALLP2 study. We also downloaded variant call formatted files or VCF files containing mutational data from the GDC portal as well. And we fed them into the UTEP's Oncominer pipeline. The Oncominer pipeline was developed for mining whole exome sequencing data to explore, identify, and visualize exonic sequen sequence variants and their genomic locations. We submitted OMI or Oncominer input files to the pipeline to parse the individual VCF files into a single data file that we then used for further analysis. Data cleaning and pre-processing was done using in-house scripts that we developed using Python, Pandas, and NumPy. Only mutations in the coding regions of genes were considered for this study. So then for each patient, we uh, made a list of genes along with their uh, individual tumor mut mutation burden values. Differences in TMB subsetted by clinical and demographic data were then analyzed and data analysis and visualization was done using matplotlib, scipy, and seaborn. Moving on to the results of the study, 534 patients were included in the present study, and we found significant differences in mean TMB values between Hispanic and non-Hispanic groups, as well as significant differences in male-specific Hispanic versus non-Hispanic uh, TMB. Finally, we also found significant differences in B-cell-specific uh, Hispanic and non-Hispanic TMB values as well. We also looked at gene ontology or GO terms in our study, and the heat map in figure four highlights variation in TMB among the top 12 GO terms based on aggregate TMB values that we looked at in this study. So these sets of comparisons revealed important differences in TMB values between the two groups. While overall mean TMB values were lower in the Hispanic subgroup compared to the non-Hispanic ones, B cell specific TMB values across the two groups revealed a higher mean um, in the Hispanic subgroup. These findings are in agreement with previous studies that have found consistently higher age-adjusted incidence rates of B-cell-specific ALL in the Hispanic population. So an in-depth understanding of these group differences could significantly impact ALL prognosis and treatment options. So for future directions, since this is an exploratory study so far, we focused on developing scripts to analyze TMB, especially within a given go term. Our next steps would be to perform more uh, robust comparisons between different subsets to identify specific pathways and molecular functions that have increased tumor mutational burden so that they could be used as therapeutic targets in order to promote personalized or precision medicine. Thank you.